the pebble. Planter! Monster. Rubeer! Pepsi! Coca Cola! Spark! <laughs> at me and I look at him and he looks at me and I look at him Making Rare and Epic MSM Monsters Part 1 Enchantling Did I do a good job? Drawing every monster on the continent. Day 18, Ma. Drawing every monster on the continent. Day 58, Dromedary. Drawing every monster on the continent. Day 3, Noggin. Today we're drawing Empret. He's my favorite monster who's yours. Like and follow. Hope you like it. Could I wham my Oingo Boingo into your velvet underground?
Could I wham my Oingo Boingo into your velvet underground? Could I wham my Oingo Boingo into your velvet underground? Could I wham my Oingo Boingo into your velvet underground? Could I wham my Oingo Boingo into your velvet underground? Could I wham my Oingo Boingo into your velvet underground? Could I wham my Oingo Boingo into your velvet underground? Could I wham my Oingo Boingo into your velvet underground? Could I wham my Oingo Boingo into your velvet underground? Could I wham my Oingo Boingo into your velvet underground? You put your hands in the air and move with the sound to the earthquake. Epic Hair Webox Cosplay and Robloxian Hot. Look, if you're boring, just say that. I hopped into a coffee shop, and then my jaw dropped in shock when I saw a girl who had cool pants. They made me want to dance. I started to advance to tell her until I heard a little voice say stop. Make it That fucking bird that I hate. 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 Bum, 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 bum,
Hey, Handler Helpers, it's me, Monster Handler Tyson, coming to you with another Quick Questions, the show where I answer your questions quickly. Hmm. Or maybe it's a show where we didn't quite get to your question on MSM Live, or maybe I saw your question on one of our socials and decided to answer it. So, in that case, let's get started! Now, our first question is, how much could a Wubox bench? Wubboxes are incredibly strong thanks to their element of electricity coursing through their robotic veins. Though we haven't been able to put an exact number on what it could lift, we have seen examples of its great feats of strength in the past, most recently when it was able to launch Gobbledygord into the Monster World stratosphere in only just a couple seconds. To put that into a human world perspective, it takes about 7.2 million pounds of thrust to get one of our rockets into our stratosphere, and that even takes eight and a half minutes. So imagine Wellbox launching Gobbledygord into the Monster World stratosphere in just a couple of seconds. We can only imagine the potential strength that it has. Our next question is, what is a group of reelings called? And a group of reelings is called a romp of reelings. <laughs> Our next question asks, is there any instances of trouble being energetic or is it always pretty sleepy? Trouble for the most part is constantly sleepy and that is thanks to its blubberfly friends always lolling it to sleep with a nice little lullaby. Though its blubberfly friends also need to get some rest so when they are resting trouble will just slink into the living ocean for a nice midnight dip though when it does that it is still incredibly tired. Our next question is whether Bookworm's hair bun is sentient or is it purely cosmetic? Bookworm's hair bun is actually not sentient, but it is actually their second mouth. They have evolved this way so they can both read and eat at the same time and not get crumbs on their precious books. It is safe to say that this multi-arm monster is the best multitasker in the monster world. Our next question is when a monculus eats, where does its treats go? The nutrition is redistributed from the mouth to different parts of the monculus' body through plasmic crucillium that flows over and through it. It's kind of like how a person's bloodstream carries nutrients to different organs in their body. Our final question is, if Epic Glowl is also known as a Glorvid, why isn't it just a different monster and a part of the Glowl family? Just as an animal can go by many different names like Puma, Cougar, or Mountain Lion, the species itself is still the same. The Glorvid name is a reference to the human world family of birds called Corvids, which include crows, ravens, and magpies, and the fact that this epic variant is distinct enough in its beak shape to enjoy multiple names. Sort of like how the Wubbly Mulch is also called the Claude Yopper. So, in the end, it depends on who you ask. Alright, Handler Helpers, that concludes episode 2 of Quick Questions with Monster Handler Tyson. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below, or really comment in any of our socials, and I will hopefully get to them in the next one. But in the meantime, happy monstering!